Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar, and in this video we'll discuss viruses. What are viruses? Why they are called true parasite? As you can see, I have a slide that uh, I will show you in my video. I will uh, explain each topic that I've written on that slide. As you can see, I have discussed plant viruses. I've discussed uh, the bacterial viruses as well as the life cycle of the bacterial viruses. I hope that this video is going to help you to understand this particular topic. And if you like the video, then please hit the like button. And if you like the content, then please do subscribe to the channel. In this video, we will discuss some of the important aspects of viruses. We all know viruses are the true parasites. They need host to replicate, to survive, to multiply. So viruses are also known as true parasite. So if I can draw a typical virus particle here, and let's discuss the important aspects. First is the use of the host cell to survive. And second one, many viruses, they are also disease causing viruses in plants, in uh, animals, in humans. So here, let's start with the viruses that infect plants, right? So all I want to say here is viruses are able to infect plant cells also. Typical example is dwarf mosaic virus of corn. Second example is viruses are able to infect bacterial cells as well. And those viruses are known as bacteriophages. Let me write it down, bacteriophages. And the typical example of bacteriophages include T2, T4, T6. These are all T-even phages. There are n number of phages present in our environment. Now let's discuss this, some of the important characteristics. What is the size? The diameter of the virus particle is around 100 nanometer. It has the protein code. Its genetic material is DNA or RNA. And if we discuss the cycle, the typical cycle, it's important to understand how virus works. So virus cannot grow without the host cell. It requires that particular host so that it can utilize the host cell to make new virus particles. And after the virus particles, they are synthesized the those virus populations they are released from the cell by cell bursting or by budding so if i diagrammatically try to show you here as you can see one virus particle is trying to infect the host cell first what will happen is the virus particle will interact with the host cell after that its genetic material is going to control the host cell and force Especially, especially this virus particle will force the host cell to construct more virus particle. So basically, the cell will become the machinery for the construction of virus particle. And then you will, you will see many or n number of virus particles getting synthesized inside the host cell. And after the process of cell bursting or the budding, new virus particles, they will be released outside the cell and the cycle is repeated again and again again and again and that causes this particular cycle then leads to the destruction of the host cells in this video we have discussed general introductory lecture on viruses we have discussed what are the viruses that are important in case of bacteria, in case of plants. We already know there are so many viruses that are important in case of humans. We have discussed some of the important points related to the virus replication cycle. I hope that this video is going to give you some introductory knowledge to understand the viruses. I'll bring more related topics, more video lectures on the same subject if you like the video then please do hit the like button and if you like the content of this channel then please do subscribe to the channel thank you